Hey everybody, I wanted to make um, a video to show everybody where I work and where I make my harnesses and all the other cool stuff that I make for my Etsy store. Um, because um, sometimes people ask me where I do it or if I do it at home or if I have a studio. But, I mean, in case you didn't know, I'm 17 and I work for my grandfather who is a clothing designer. And if you look around, this would be his studio. It's a bit messy, but it's... I, I basically have grown up in it. You know, we have the boxes of various things. He designs chain mail. Well, he makes things out of chain mail. And so, you know, we have the boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. And then finally, we get to my stuff. These are all of my various colors and spools of leather that I use. They're kind of everywhere. These back here are my scraps. There's some here, there's some over there. Kind of everywhere. Um, if we keep going this way, we actually can get to my workstation. As you can see, I'm actually in the process of making two harnesses. Usually, I make harnesses when I'm when I'm going to make them. Um, I'll just make two of them at a time so that it goes a little bit quicker because they do take a while. But I'll actually show you where I put the rivets in. If you go back here. We have all these very fancy machines. This right here, if you look, punches holes and things so that I can actually get the rivet through. And then this machine here stamps the rivet. It's like a huge hammer and you just go like that and it clamps, clamps the rivet down instead of uh, using pliers or a hammer or something because I'm not talented enough to do that. And alas, my workstation. This is really embarrassing, but it's kind of funny. This is where I do all of my harnesses. Uh, as you can see, you know, I have various things, my rings, more rings, more findings and such. You know, Halloween earrings that I haven't done anything with. And then we have, you know, my feminist earrings I haven't done anything with. There's a lot of stuff. And this is probably the most embarrassing of it all. This would be where I keep my leather and fabric. Because I've been allotted a bin. You know, there's this whole shop, as you can see. And I have been allotted a bin. So that's where um, I keep my stuff. But it usually makes its way to this table. Uh, this is my pride and joy. I just got this in the mail from India because I keep telling people I can't make you a harness until I get my leather in. Well, I finally got it in. To be honest, it was really expensive, so I'm going to have to be paying, you know, some money back from this. But, you know, for now, it's cool. Um, you know, <laughs> and then even better, right here is my little uh, shipping stuff station. You know, I have my Casper cards and uh, Halloween stickers and Lisa Frank stickers and trims and gift wrap and all of that. You know, I just kind of shove it under there. And, yeah, so... I really like this fabric too and I wish I could make something with it to go in my shop because I think it's really cool Halloween fabric. Uh, you know, we have some lace, various colors, and yeah, that's that's about it. And that is how I, you know, run my Etsy shop. It's by working in this little small space, but it's enough and it's it's been good so far, even though I just started in July. So I figured I'd show you guys what um, my harnesses are all about and where they're made. Thank you.